Welcome to this 10 minute overview of Flux. In this video, we'll explore how Flux seamlessly introduces modern PCB design workflows, the power of AI assisted PCB design, and the simplicity of creating advanced PCB design layouts. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to show you is how quickly you can get started without sacrificing quality or safety. And what I mean by that is that Flux automatically configures all the basic workflows that you would expect from a modern design tool. Let me show you what I mean with a new example. You probably have noticed the library panel here on the left. With Flux, you get access to thousands of parts without having to configure anything. You can search for specific parts by typing here on the search box, or you can use some of these filters to narrow down the results. When you find the pan you're looking for, just click on it and drag it to the canvas. An important benefit of Flux being a web tool is that you get automatic plugging and availability for each one of the parts. This is particularly helpful with the current situation where many parts are very difficult to source. You can quickly verify that the part you selected actually is in stock before you consider it for your design. During the introduction, I mentioned safety as one of the most important aspects, and that's achieved by the automatic version control system. To get the benefits of version control, you typically need to configure your EDA tool to synchronize with another external tool that provides a versioning system, and that's usually very cumbersome to do. In Flux, all that is taken care of. You just need to go to the Flux menu and go to the change history. Here you'll see a list of every single change that was made in your project, including parts added, modified, properties, etc. This allows you to go back to any point in time and undo any mistakes that could have caused a problem. And this takes us to the last of our modern workflows. Flux makes it very easy to collaborate with others. Sharing projects is as easy as clicking on the share menu where you'll find full control over who can access, view, and edit your project. You can add individual users to your project or set permissions to the whole Flux community. Once you set your permissions, anybody with the right access will be able to access your project. So what you need to do is copy and paste the URL and send it to whoever you want to share access with. Since it's very easy to share projects with others, Flux is full of open source projects that you can use to get started in your design. We've curated some of the most interesting open source projects in this section, but you'll find hundreds of others in the whole Flux ecosystem. Once you find the project you like, for example, this one, the only thing you need to do is open the project, find the Flux menu and click on clone will automatically get a copy of the project and your own name that you can go ahead and edit. You might have noticed these updates available for your components lesson here on the bottom left. So let's see how the part update system works and some other interesting things about what you can do with parts in Flux. Like pricing and availability, this is another great benefit of working online. Whenever a part creator issues a new update, every project that uses that part will automatically get a notification. The owner of that project can then decide to update the part if they decide that the update is important or completely ignore it, having full control over what happens in their project, but also having the possibility to know in real time if something might be wrong with their parts. Finally, I want to mention a particular kind of component in Flux called sublayout or module. You can find them in the library by clicking on this filter here. If you drag a module into our design, at first glance, it might see like a standard part. But if you go to the PCB layout, you can see that they are in fact a small sub-circuit, including traces, vias, components, etc. This is great for specific sessions of your circuit that you might do once and then reuse in many other projects. Good candidates for this are power converters or decoupling capacitors for specific ICs. The good news is that modules get updated the same way that parts do. So updates can be issued at any point and whoever is using their module in the design can decide to update it or not. Since we're talking about modern workflows, we absolutely need to talk about how Flux leverages AI to make you a better designer. So let's see how that works. Flux has an AI hardware design assistant called Copilot. Copilot has full context of your project, meaning that it can access all the parts inside your project, how they're connected, and also has access to the data sheets of each one of these parts. This allows Copilot to provide highly accurate answers that are relevant in the context of your project. We've identified three main use cases, but we're only scratching the surface of what Copilot can do, so we'd like to see what you can come up with. In this first example, we use Copilot to validate some parts and how they fit in our design. So let's see how it works. You can interact with Copilot in two main ways. One is the chat menu here on the right, or you can right click and add a new comment. To have Copilot respond to a question, you first need to tag it by doing add Copilot. In this case, we're going to ask Copilot if all our parts are 5 volt compliant. Let's quickly analyze what Copilot is saying here. We can see that it went ahead and checked every single part in the design and try to make sure that it's actually 5 volt compliant. 
In this case, it identified two parts, the IMX and the LoRa module, that are basically not FIWA compliant. So that would mean that they're not good for our design. A good follow-up question would be to ask Copilot for a few alternatives, but I'll leave that to you because I want to focus on another example. Let's now try to ask Copilot about an individual part. For example, this oscillator over here. We could ask Copilot to validate that X1 actually meets the criteria for our project. So let's see what Copilot says. As we can see, Copilot can provide detailed information about the part that we just asked the question for and how it matches to the microcontroller that it's connected to. At the end, it also points us in the direction of other factors that we might want to check, for example, the crystal load, capacitance, impedance, etc. So Copilot is great at verifying if parts meet your design goals, either in bulk or for individual components. In Flex PCB Layout Tool, you'll find all the features you would expect from a modern PCB design tool. Multi-layer design, high-speed writing, design rejects, etc. But it's Flex implementation of these features that provide a unique and user-friendly experience. Typically, someone trying to implement something like a USB-C interface will need to know the target impedance for that interface, if the traces need to be length match, etc. Flex handles all these complexities seamlessly behind the scenes. With automatic integration of impedance and differential pair information directly to components, the creator of the parts only need to add information once, and Flux will make sure that all those requirements are met during layout. Let's take this USB-C connector as an example. When we zoom in and try to connect one of the differential pair interfaces, we see that Flux automatically creates the differential pair and also selects the adequate trace width to make sure that the impedance is matched with the selected PCB stack-up. The interesting part is that we didn't have to do anything on the PCB layout. All this information is encoded directly into the part. If we select the part and go to its properties, We'll see that there's a property here called part type USB-C. Flux uses that information to pattern match all the pin names and all the names of the interfaces to make sure that the impedance and length matching is accurate. This helps people create boards without necessarily having to have the knowledge of how to create house speed routing nets. By adding additional properties, experts can also fine-tune and configure what are the exact parameters that need to be applied for this specific net, giving you full control of how your traces will end up behaving. Speaking of parameters, Flux takes a completely new approach that we call declarative design. Imagine you're placing a new trace and you want to change the width. You will deeply need to go somewhere in the UI and change a property. The problem is that it's impossible for any other engineer, and even yourself in the future, to know why that property was changed or why that trace has that specific width. With a declarative approach, every single change has a paper trail that specifies exactly which component it was targeted and what properties or layout rules were applied to it. You can even add descriptions to each one of these rules to make sure that whoever is reading this in the future knows exactly what the decision was made. Combining this simple-to-use interface with the power of declarative design, both beginners and advanced users can create PCB layouts much easier and faster. And that wraps up our overview of Flux. Now go ahead and create a free account with the link below and try it yourself. See you in the next one.